Okay, I got my panels off now. And one thing I like about the Mountain Mods cases is that all these panels are interchangeable. They're all 18 inches by 18 inches. So you can put the top panel on the side, side panel on the top. And so let me just give you a close-up look of the uh, vinyl. There's, you can see that one real well now. I got the EVGA, the SR2, and the Intel. And then there is the top panel. You get a good look at it. And it may not come across on the video real well when it's on the computer, but the logos really show up really well in person, which, of course, you all can't see that. So I got those three panels off, so now let's go ahead and look at the build. Uh, <clears throat> there we go. I, the bottom area is really not all that... I mean, there is a bunch of wires down there just because of everything I have. There's no way to build a computer like this without having a bunch of wires. And that's why I chose this case, not only because it would fit it, but also that uh, I would be able to hide everything. So let's go ahead and have a close look. You can see, even on the edges, you can't really see any wiring. There are very few places where you'll see wiring when it's all together. And so I'm kind of on my tippy toes there. So here's the other side. Uh, the only little wiring mess that I have is like right here. And uh, I'm going to end up fixing that. I got some uh, some sleeving I'm going to put on it. But there's my second power supply. Remember I said that it was installed in there? See, it's not installed to the back of the case, so it's actually exhausting inside the bottom of the case. Uh, if it wasn't for those 220 millimeter fans down there, it probably wouldn't be a good idea because the power supply, of course, gets warm. And I wouldn't want that heat building up. But I think with those, uh, let's walk back over here, with the two... 120 millimeter fans I have right here. I mean, they blow a good amount of air out, so the power supply is not getting hot, and there's not the hot air is not inside the case just sitting in there. So let's go ahead and look at my cards. Here are my four GTX 480s. I swapped out when you buy the Cool Ants blocks. Uh, they come with a blue LED, and of course I didn't want blue. I wanted green, and I think I said that in one of my previous videos. And so what I've done, let's go ahead and look at this here, is if you look here, Cool Ants makes replacement LEDs you can buy from their site. But the LEDs are like super long and they're also powered by a Molex connector. A Molex connector is like uh, that connector right there. And so I didn't want four of those things hanging out, you know, in my case. So what I've done is I took a chance, because <laughs> you only get one shot at it, is see, I actually used the connector that came with the original blue LEDs, and I did a cut and a splice uh, on it. And I, I, I don't use a soldering gun, so I just I cut and splice it and then taped it together, and then I sleeved the inner part of it, like right there. So it actually looks really good. It almost looks factory, I think. So I, I did that on all four of them, and I didn't ruin one of them, so it came out good. Now, if you notice, see the GTX 480 and see above and below it, it looks orange. Well, if it looks orange to you, it looks orange to me. I actually am using red coolant. See, it's red coolant. But it is orange when it's thin, I guess. I, I don't know. And it's nothing wrong with that particular card because you can see it on all the cards. See, there's orange there, orange there, and orange there. So... Don't ask me, I cannot answer that question. So let's go back to the, the wiring of the GTX 480s. Here's the wiring. You know, it takes an 8 pin and a 6 pin. And I thought I was going to so need extensions, the, but the I wires didn't come from the power supply. And I, hopefully you can see that, but I have them all aligned perfectly, pretty much, except for that one that keeps wanting to, to move a little bit on me. But I think without, you know, I wanted to get the. Uh, Unisleeve cabling, which I may still end up getting it, but right now they are so expensive, and uh, I don't know, that's one of my other little pet peeves with the build that I'm not totally happy with is some of that wiring there. Uh, I got the Cool Ants connectors, and I have three of them in between the cards, and they are so easy to put in. I remember back in the day when they didn't have adjustable connectors, it was almost impossible without putting some pressure on the card in order to get them to. Uh, connect to each other, but now the Cool Ants design makes it easy. Even if I was using a different brand uh, water block, there's no way I would not use anything but the Cool Ants connectors. 
because they are so easy. They actually stretch and contract so you can fit them in between the blocks. You don't have to force anything. Okay, now I do have a Unisleeve 24 pin cable if you can see it there. And it's in black. Here are my Zero ATA. I got the round Zero ATA connectors. I like them fine, I guess. And then I have two of the flat, which there's another part of my build. That's why it's 95% done. I'm going to order two more round and then make it come with these other three and make them all together. So I'm going to end up doing that. And then I'm going to sleeve these. Uh, th these are the front connectors for the reset button, the LEDs, and the, and the power button. I'm going to eventually sleeve those. So like I said, there's just little things here and there that I don't necessarily love about the build, but I'll get them fixed eventually. Okay, now for the case. There's a four-way SLI that I had uh, Derek make for me, same guy that made the others. Uh, in order to get the water inside and outside the case, I had to drill two holes. And right there is the inlet hole coming from the 2K3U, and it goes down, it goes down into the first CPU. And of course, I'm using the Coolant CPU 360s, and so the in, you know, you want the water to hit the middle of the processor. That's where most of the heat is. So it goes in, and then it filters out through the sides, and it comes out the other one, and it goes into the second CPU, which goes in the center, and then it comes out here, and goes up into my first card, and it goes through all these cards, and then into this 90 degree connector, and then the second hole I drilled goes outside the case. So that's basically very simple water for inside the case. I think it looks as clean as it could be, and I'm very happy with it. Now on to my memory. My memory is Mushkin memory. Let's see if I can see it there. It's the red line. I have 12 gigabytes total. There is 6 gigabytes for that CPU triple channel, and there are 6 gigabytes for that CPU triple channel. And like I said, this motherboard is just awesome so far. Besides the ungodly amount of post time it takes, once you get it started, it is unbeatable as far as performance. So let me slide down here. Here's kind of the, the other side view of it. Uh, like I said, I mean, you can't, you see some wires, but most of them are, are, are hidden away, and it's the design of the uh, UFO uh, Horizon, or UFO case using the Horizon setup. Okay, here's some wires here that I got. It's for CPU power, and I think I chronic chronicled the wiring uh, in the motherboard review. There's the memory. Now here I got several wires coming up here. Now let me show you what I've done here. This is a cool idea that I got from my buddy. Is if you look at it, I have my S ouch, I have my SSD, and uh, I have it actually on a three and a half bay connector or, or slot right here that comes with the Mountain Mods case, and I have it mounted above my hardware so it could be seen. Now if you look at it. The Zero ATA connector looks perfect, but I was unable to find a right-handed power connector, so that's another, there's the 5% of the build I'm not done with yet. I'm going to order another connector that will actually just go straight down and won't have this bend going up where you can see the wires. So that's another piece of it, but like I said, I think it was good to do uh, the review now. I have two blue cold cathodes, you know, which I'm, in my mind, is for Intel. I got a 12 inch there and a 4 inch there. Uh, the red, I'm using the red because I like the red overall, and I have green for NVIDIA. So there's kind of a look at the top side of my build. This, I would, add, I would say it took me about 40 hours uh, to complete this build, and that's a lot of time you know, changing things out, seeing what works and see what isn't. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, w it was really a lot more than what I thought when I originally started. 